For the first time, the CDC says bird flu has caused respiratory symptoms in one of three infected dairy workers with growing concerns growing with well, concerns rather growing about avian flu spreading. Now researchers at the University of Pennsylvania are working on a new bird flu vaccine. That's right. To that end, health reporter Stephanie Stahl was at the Penn Lab today for mm -hmm. an update. That's right, guys. Lots going on there. You know, scientists at Penn say they now have the technology to quickly make vaccines. And while the risk of getting bird flu is low, it is spread. And that has a renewed focus on this vaccine. Scientists at the University of Pennsylvania working on a new bird flu vaccine. It mounts a very good or elicits a very good immune response. Penn immunologist Scott Hensley led the study on mice and ferrets. He says with the bird flu now spreading from cows to dairy workers, it's showing signs of mutating. This virus is circulating very widely in birds and now in cows, and that scares me because cows are an animal that humans have a lot of contact with. It's what we fear is that the virus will start changing to replicate better in cows, and that some of those mutations that might occur during that process might facilitate better replication in humans. Could this turn into another COVID? Oh, I hope not. Uh, but I, you know, we never really know when a virus is going to make that jump from other animals into humans. Currently, the CDC says the threat to humans is low, but there is high interest in the vaccine that in addition to people might also be used in poultry or dairy cows. This new vaccine is following the same pipeline that led to the quick development of the COVID vaccine. mRNA vaccines are uh, such an agile platform. As soon as we see a new virus, whether it's a coronavirus or in this case a flu virus, we can very quickly design new mRNA vaccines to be specifically matched to what's circulating. Currently, the virus is contained to workers exposed to infected cows. There's been no human to human transmission, but there is now the first case of a dairy worker with respiratory symptoms, which might make it easier to spread. Now, the three known cases are in people in Michigan and, t and Texas. There are no indications of any people or dairy cows in our area in the Philadelphia region, the tri-state region, being infected with bird flu. But this is evolving quickly mm. with the CDC. So, of course, we're going to continue to keep you posted and on no this one. And no human-to-human transmission. No human-to-human. Okay. Wow. Not yet. yet. Yeah, exactly. That's why this vaccine, full throttle. So important. All right, Stephanie, thank you. Mm -hmm.